flipping switches and off they go. I think the chemi competition is one of the best things that we do at AICHE. Georgia Tech, your time starts now. It gives the students an opportunity to work on a project independently in teams. After you're done with that, let's, we'll start connecting them. I think they have a lot of fun doing it. They have a lot of fun building the cars and, and testing them and running them. And sometimes cars don't go, sometimes they go backwards. And it's all part of the fun. Well, I think the students all think it's very exciting as to where their car stops. Have that car start from the line and stop as close to the line as possible. It gives me like, you know, a lot of satisfaction, a lot of happiness. See, like, my work is paying off. So it's cool to be able to build something real and have it in your hands and then see it compete well at competition. I think hands-on application lets you pull it all together, take the classroom learning and apply it in real world situations. The chemi car is that bridge between. It gives you the step up from the lab's experiments. We're really putting all of our knowledge to the test. So you have to develop the, the reaction, you have to do the electrical work, you have to do the mechanical work, and that's very much like the real world. Wait, let, let me test you real quick. Let's try this one. Oh, it allows me to apply chemical engineering principles because it's something that I feel like is not elaborated on enough in the course curriculum. So all those classes, all those nights studying, being able to kind of put it all together in a team environment and then compete in a competition. Look at that buffalo ready to run. That was a quick start for the University of Colorado. They learn teamwork and they learn safety and they learn um, competition um, and they learn problem solving, especially when things go wrong and cars don't move and they have to figure out how to problem solve at the spot. Things don't always go right and how do you deal with them? I mean. Half the stuff on the car doesn't work on the first try, so it's an iterative design process, and that's something you can only learn by experience. I have been able to learn from my mistakes, and now I feel more prepared for the future, especially joining like a uh, workforce or the job environment. Many companies now that are interviewing for internship and, and permanent jobs are looking for something outside of the classroom, an experience, something they did. The Kimmy Car Competition is just that experience. Racing down track two, it's wonderful that it's the 20th anniversary of the Kimmy Car Competition. Scott Folger developed the car competition. The first one was in 1999. Five schools competed in that competition. The University of Michigan won that competition the first year. Go blue. We have a model, a 3D printed model of the first car. And all the competitors signed the model. And then the second year, we had 15 schools. And the number of schools kept creeping up and up over successive years. We're basically Texas A&M University from Qatar. But now the competition is worldwide. The competition in Australia, Europe, uh, the Middle East, and it's just uh, it's spread, it's spread all over. It's a worldwide event nowadays for chemical engineers. So in Qatar, we have a lot of SUVs running around the streets, right? So what we wanted to do is model our carts and look as close to an SUV as possible. So as you can see, we got like, you know, the tire at the back, which is a typical symbol from an SUV, a little boxy design. And in the front, one of the things that we liked is that we put the uh, a license plate of uh, like the cars that we see over there. And the number we chose our country code, you know, just to represent where we're from. Kimi is an international discipline. So it would be natural that the car competition would also have an international aspect to it. And that gives more students a chance to participate and bring their learnings from across the world. Can they beat the current leader? The thing that he has here you don't have in school teamwork on projects is esprit de corps. And these students have it to the max, both for their school and both for their car. We've spent over a year working on this. Um, last week we were spending eight hour days in the lab, so we've worked really hard for this. We've grown really close. I think we all deserve it. <laughs> this competition didn't exist when I was in school, and looking back, I really wish it would have. It would have given me an opportunity to take what I learned in the classroom and apply it with my teammates. So I'm very happy for Chevron to be a proud sponsor of the competition and give that experience to students today. And now, the winner of the 2018 Kenny Car Competition, the best run of one centimeter from the target line, Georgia Tech. Woo!